Hey Squids, I wanted to tell you guys a little bit about some of the tools that you might want to consider when you ride a motorcycle. One of the things I've learned is when you're a motorcyclist, it really helps to do maintenance by yourself. Generally, motorcycle shops will charge a lot of money for maintenance and much more money than it costs to fix a car, for example, even though motorcycles are extremely easy to maintain. Now, I'm not going to like say that I'm a great motorcycle mechanic. I'm not, and I don't consider myself to be a mechanic. And the last thing I want to do is on a nice day to be inside doing stuff on my bike. I prefer to be out riding. But it saved me so much money learning to maintain the bike myself rather than take it to a shop. And I think in the last, what, 15 years, I have not taken it to a shop. I've done all the maintenance uh, myself on the bikes. Now, it helps to have a bike that's very reliable, like the V-Straw. And before then, I had like a Ninja 250, I believe. I've had a lot of motorcycles. But I usually pick Japanese bikes because they are so much more reliable than German bikes and Austrian bikes and things like that. It really helps to have a Japanese bike as your main platform. It never seems to have any problems. And maybe that's the reason I'm not that good of a mechanic because I don't really work on bikes all that much anymore. But on my EX250, Ninja 250, I had to do quite a bit of maintenance, not because it was unreliable, but because it was a small displacement motor that requires a little bit more of attention. So in this video, I'm going to show you some tools that you need in order to do your own motorcycle maintenance. Don't take your bike into the shop for maintenance. Uh, like, motorcycle shops are notorious for being overly expensive. Let me show you some of the tools that you're gonna need to do your own motorcycle maintenance and be able to do most things by yourself. So, I'm kinda stuck here. The cops won't bother me. Generally, when you buy a motorcycle, it comes with something like this. This is your toolkit. And I always keep it on my bike, even though I have much better tools around. And this is kind of like if you need it in a pinch. All the tools that you really need for basic maintenance are in here. And generally, what happens with motorcyclists that have been riding for quite some time, you realize that these are not very good tools. They're made out of very cheap aluminum and steel so they tend not to work very well but they will do in a bind if you're in trouble all the things that you need are in here for basic maintenance like wrenches some screwdrivers pliers they're all in here and I do find myself that I always use the tool that comes with this for spark plug replacement but this is a good toolkit to put and leave on your motorcycle just in case but I always take better tools with me I try to find a way to put the tools in such a way that I always use the other ones and if I don't have the other ones available I'll probably find it here tire inflator and this one is just a slime version I actually have a couple of versions of this but this has a cigarette lighter and I do have an accessory for my motorcycle that lets me plug this in I'm not paranoid with flat tires, but it also helps to have a fix-a-flat can. This might be overkill, but I kind of like having the, the peace of mind of having something like this. But keep in mind that you can always stop at any auto shop store and they'll have this. Another thing that you might want to keep on your bike are zip ties. I found that these are very useful for when your friends wreck or if something falls off your bike, like your shifter. You can pretty much use these to fix just about anything. This and duct tape probably helps out a lot of the riders. I've gone on many group rides and <clears throat> if somebody crashes and their shifter broke, you can kind of use these to kind of make it stick on there as a temporary fix until they get into a shop or their home. Another tire maintenance is having a patch kit for your tire. This is a tubeless patch kit, the rubber cement. And this one has got like a, a tube patching thing and I don't use it of course for my motorcycle because it's tubeless. 
the ones that you're going to be using are these. And you can see I've already used three of them. They're pretty cheap. I think it's like $7 to buy this from an auto parts store. And it also comes with this. It's to remove your, I believe, your uh, stem. You don't really need that very much. And then it's got some um, tire caps. Also has, it comes with this. <clears throat> You're going to need this to check your tire pressure most of the time. Um, you do want to check it pretty often. Oftentimes, the ones, these that come with the, um, these kits are kind of cheap. I have some other ones that I do prefer to use. It also helps to have some sort of like pliers. These are just very small pliers, but I prefer a multi-tool because it's a lot more, you know, flexible to use. And you, you just need one tool instead of having all of these tools. In a garage, you're going to have many more tools that uh, you probably don't use all the time. The ones that I use most of the time, I carry in my motorcycle. You're going to need one of these big wrenches. And I do most of my maintenance with the big wrenches and the medium ones. And then, of course, you're going to need some tools. You're going to need a set of these sockets. And these don't cost very much. <clears throat> they usually come with uh, one of these wrenches and one of the medium ones. So for all of this, uh, <clears throat> it might be like $30 for a complete set. And that's pretty much all you need. There are some specialty tools that motorcycles generally need to use. But I find that you can get away with 90% of the maintenance just using these tools. I have a medium like this, and you're going to need a few of these. These are the X wrenches, and they're very easy to use. Some people have like the multi-tools with all the sizes. I prefer to use these. You should also get a few screwdrivers. This is a flat, but <clears throat> you could... Um, also get like one that's got a Phillips. Working in my garage, I like to use one of these. It makes working on a bike so much easier and you don't really need it all the time, but I find myself using this quite often. And work just goes by so much quicker when you use this. And it's so easy to use. You just put the sockets in here and you can remove most of the bodywork of your bike in a few seconds. Sometimes even this length is not long enough. So what I do is I strap a tube onto it and I just use this to loosen things. Bolts sometimes can get pretty tight. And instead of manhandling something like this, I'll just stick this on here and use it to pry things out. You just have to make sure you don't strip bolts. Another thing you're gonna need is a funnel like this. You don't really need a funnel, but for example, you can take a water bottle and just cut the, the back end of the water bottle and you have yourself a funnel. But this makes it so much easier. One of the things that you might want to consider doing is chain maintenance. And if you need to add a new chain or remove the old chain, you can get one of these. It's a chain kit that it costs about $50 to like $60 on Amazon. This one is a Motion Pro toolkit. I don't generally carry this with me, but I have it in the shop, in the garage. And you can see it comes with several things. This is all you need to put in a new chain. It's very simple. You have this handle. You have these other tools that cl clamp onto the handle. And you have a great way of adding a new chain. Tire levers. These are really great for changing your tire. And yes, I do change my own tires. I, would, I do wish that I bought tire levers that were a little bit longer. There's hand uh, tire levers that are really long and they give you a lot more power to use and remove your tire. Generally with two and three tire levers, I can remove a tire of a motorcycle, scooter very easily. One of the things that is not really a requirement but it helps to have during winter is a battery tender like this. You just plug it into the wall and then you plug this into your bike with the appropriate wire, and then you have a way of charging your bike during the winter. The thing that you might want to consider keeping it in your bike all the time is one of these. This is just a little clip for your chain. I keep this around my bike because in case the chain ever breaks, and it has broken one time on me, it's good to just like clip this on. This is a, uh, it's like a, a clip 
that's very easy to use just using a pliers and you just clip it on there and it's a temporary fix until you get home. If you're touring, this is really important to have and I usually keep it on my bike all, at all times. You know, I often don't have to lube any of my chains but this is a tool that you might want to consider getting if you're going to maintain your cables like your clutch cable for example. You can get stands that go into the forks. You can go and get stands that you can lift up the rear tire. It just helps to have the bike upright when you're doing maintenance, especially like an oil change. It just kind of lifts it up a little bit. And this is pretty much all you need. Uh, if your bike has a center stand like mine, you're not going to need one of these unless you want to lift the front end of the bike. And generally with a center stand, you can lift the front of the bike just using like car jacks. I don't find a lot of use for this anymore since my bike has got a center stand. Also, if you have a VFR or a Triumph Speed Triple, you're going to need a different stand because the rear tire or the rear end of it only has one swing arm. So you're going to need a different stand. That's one of the reasons like I prefer bikes with center stands. It's so much easier to maintain if it has that feature. Another thing you're going to need for oil changes is this, a drain pan. This is where you put all your oil when you're removing it. There's a hole in the center and this right here where you can put the oil into buckets. Makes it very easy to store oil and then just move it out out of your garage. Another thing I really like is gloves. These little latex gloves make it so much easier to work on your bike. And there are different gloves, more substantial gloves you could get if you just want to have one pair, which might be environmentally a little bit safer. But get some gloves. It really helps. Generally when you're a beginner in motorcycling, you tend to be paranoid about doing maintenance and going to the shop all the time because you think that somehow your bike is going to explode on you. But motorcycles are much more simple to fix than cars. And oftentimes you're going to find that it's so much easier to work on your bike than a car. And as soon as you start doing your own maintenance, you're going to see that motorcycle shops generally charge you a whole lot of money for doing very little. That's one thing I found. I've spent a lot of money in motorcycle shops and they generally don't do a very good job. Do your own maintenance. It's very simple. And I think you'll get a whole lot more value doing your own maintenance. Do your own maintenance. It is a much better way to go about life. Keeping these tools around on your bike and in your garage. If you have a garage like this, then you have a lot of space to have better tools like compressors, uh, you know, air tools and things like that. But a lot of people do not have a garage like this. So these tools that I showed you are pretty much the basic ones that you need that you can do just about every single thing on your bike. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next video.